This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at Spencer Oliver's beloved Tottenham. Not yes. the same for me. Yes. Uh, we're post-fight. We've just seen Alexander Usyk become heavyweight champion of the world. Your thoughts, Spence? Yeah, it was a great performance, if I'm totally honest. You know, he started well and he just got into a rhythm. He'd done everything that, you know, I think Joshua really, what he needed to do was, and we've said it all week, we said this fight could go one or two ways. Joshua could go out there and he could blast him out, catch him early, use his, you know, his, his size, his strength, his power, he, you know, his, his speed of foot. And that's what he needed to do, but he didn't do it. He, he sort of went out there and he tried to outbox a boxer. He allowed Usyk to get into a rhythm and he just slowly get, started getting broken down himself. And they've sort of, where we thought, like, coming up the last two or three rounds, you was thinking, right, Joshua now needs to go for it because, you know, he's fallen behind. He needs a knockout to win. It was actually Usyk that picked it up. And he had a really good 11th. And in 12th round, Joshua was in, you know, he's, he's in serious trouble. So I think he's got to go back to the drawing board. People are going to be saying, anyone that's going to be thinking, oh, is that it for Joshua now? Of course it's not it. He's going to go back to the drawing board. He's going to, you know, work on the stuff that he needs to work on and come back and try and wrong the right, um, try and right the wrong, sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, that's all he can do. This is boxing, man, you know. I think... There's been a buzz about this fight all week, isn't there? Because we've all had an opinion and we've all you know, said it will go one way or the other, but no one really knew. And that's when you know you've got a great fight. You know, a fight of this magnitude, it was one of those where we thought, well, if Uzi can cope with the power of Joshua, then he's in a real fight, Joshua. And he did, he done that. Well, see, he, uh, he corrected his wrong against Ruiz, but how much of a different task is this going into the Usyk rematch? It's huge because Usyk's now going to have the confidence going into the second fight, isn't he? Because like he's going into this fight thinking, "Am I going to be big enough?" You know, he's just joined a small number of cruiserweights that have ever gone up and won the cruiserweight title and everywhere. I think it was Evander Holyfield and David Hay. Yes. And now he's in that little elite group. You know, you've got to be a great fighter to be able to go and do that. And I think that, you know, we said it before this week as well. You know, we could be looking at Usyk. We, he was an unknown quantity at heavyweight, but we could be looking at him and saying, you know what, he could be the best heavyweight out there at the moment. And I think he proved that he's right up there and in the mix now. I mean, that was a dominant performance. What, above Tyson Fury? No, I'm saying that he proved that he's one of the... the, the, the he's up there, yeah. He's, yeah, he's yeah. up there. Listen, you can't because styles make fights, etc., etc. Look, I said Joshua would beat Fury. You know, but but that doesn't mean that Joshua would beat Wilder. Like it's all about styles. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just said that Usyk could prove if he gets this victory to become one of the greatest heavyweights out there. You know, and he's well on the road to that now. I mean, the guy, that was a class performance. Mm. Let's not take nothing away from him. He was dominant from the opening bell for me. I think he was always in control of the fight. He was making Joshua work. He's got great footwork. You know, he's he's moving up and down with his hands, and and he was creating, setting traps and creating holes. I mean, that was good. That was really good. Um, back to the drawing wall for Joshua. He never looked hurt in there, did he? Usyk once. No, and Joshua did. I think he was hurt. Was he hurt in the second or third round? He, he saw him get a little stumble. He was clipped with a good left hand. Usyk does this great thing of like sort of teeing up with the right hand and throwing the left hand round the side. Um, and he caught Joshua with that repeatedly tonight. The left hand was key shot for Usyk. Mm. And at the uh, end of the 12th as well, it looked like Anthony was in a bit of bother. That eye was really bad as well, wasn't he it? Was he was in desperate trouble at the end of the round. You know, he, sh you know, again, he showed that heart to hang in there. You know, and, and, and he done well to get through. You know, when that 10 second clapper went, yeah. he was in big trouble and he was taking big shots. And I was just thinking, please, just get to the end of the round. You know, that's, that's where we sort of become with it. And when that final bell went, yeah, he lost by four rounds. That's how you had it, yeah? Yeah, I had him losing it by about four <laughs> rounds. OK, Spencer, appreciate your time here on IFL TV. Cheers. And uh, I'm sure we'll speak soon, all right? God bless. Yeah, God bless.